what type of sports did you play at North Point Government Center? Gosh, I played all sports when I was a kid. I seven years old. I played the Little League there, the Eastfield Rec Council, and I played the Little Tykes football when I was a kid. Um, we used to go down there even when sports were out of season and we'd play some soccer and um, or just rode our bikes through the fields and the, the uh, through the the, uh, pa the bike paths of the, the high school. It was North Point Junior High School when I was there and I just remember a lot of my friends were on the other side of Merritt Boulevard and I spent almost my whole childhood playing on those fields and then they had the little creek that was behind uh, the Baptist Church there that we used to go catching crawdads and I mean I, I grew up there. So it, it sounds like it was a pretty ideal environment for athletics that there was a lot of community that everybody was encouraged to be involved with athletics. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, so that was really formative to you as a professional athlete, wasn't it? Well, that's, that's where I started playing playing baseball. I mean, I was a little kid. I never thought of, of being a pro ball player then, but I mean, that's that's where I kept all my friends. That's where, where I had my first girlfriend down there on the field. I wasn't kidding when I was talking earlier. And, uh, you know, that part of my early formidable years was on those ball fields. It, it's a nice facility. They're excellent fields. Do you think that th those are some of the nicest fields in Baltimore County that you've seen? Well, I haven't seen them in a while because I actually don't uh, live in the area anymore. I'm still in Maryland, but um, they were when I was there. I mean, they were well maintained through the uh, Board of Recreation or the, or, or the county and, and uh, we had some pretty darn good teams there. We used to go throughout the state of Maryland playing in uh, different tournaments and my uh, one of my coaches, Sonny Yeager, who was uh, instrumental in my career, we had the Eastfield traveling team that 15 the full 90 foot diamond that was in the back of the field was the one that we played on and, and uh, yeah, that's where I learned my skills later on to be a ball player. So, there are those fields, they really nurture people, they nurture the community, they keep people healthy, they make people strong, they're involved with sports. How, do you, how would you feel about putting retail at that location? Up and down Merritt Boulevard, there's enough retail, it's all asphalt. And right across the street, you've got a whole shopping center that doesn't have anything in it. So why would you want to build something across the highway that has the potential of being empty also? Um, little league fields, soccer fields, lacrosse fields, they keep the young kids out of trouble. Instead of being out on the street doing things that you're not supposed to, you've got a uniform on and you're out there playing in some kind of sport. Uh, if anybody knows anything about the Cal Ripken Foundation, that, that's what they do. They go in the inner cities and they build uh, ball fields for the kids to play on, I think it's a bad idea to take ball fields away. How many, how many years, when you were a young person, how many years were you involved with sports at North Point, you figure? Well, I probably started playing Little League at seven all the way up until I was 17, so it was probably 10 years all the way through high school playing uh, athletics on those fields. And is, is it true that you're still friends with a lot of those people or some of those people you did played sports with a back of, then? A lot of guys that I went to school with, junior high school with and high school, uh, a lot of the guys that grew up in Dundalk State and Dundalk now, they have families with their younger kids and, and um, some of their kids want to play on those fields. Um, I was fortunate where I took baseball and turned it into a profession. Um, count my blessings every day, but I think it would be a damn shame if, if uh, those kids didn't have somewhere to go out and have some excitement, learn some skills, and most of all, keep them out of trouble. Um, about this, about North Point in general, and also this North Point deal, is there, any, is there anything that you'd like to comment? Anything that strikes you, other than all this great stuff that we've already talked about? Well, the only thing that really comes 
comes to mind is you're, to take and, and put more commercial development into a community that number one doesn't want it and number two is going to take away uh, opportunities for some of these young kids, boys and girls, to uh, grow up with the opportunities that me or my friends had. I don't think it's a good idea. There's enough shopping up and down the highway. Um, find somewhere else to build. Those, that, that whole community over there has, has really been used to this facility. It's like North Point Government Center fits with the community. The community fits with it. You look at it, 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 it looks like it's correct. Um, well, you know what, also growing up, which they still have probably some of the best fireworks uh, in the community, and, and probably some of the best in, in this part of Maryland. Hmm. Um, I remember growing up as a kid, sitting on my front lawn in, at, at Eastfield, and my relatives from all over would come for Fourth of July to my mom and dad's house, and it was a big, it was a big party. It was a big picnic on Fourth of July, which is, is that's less than a week away. Um, there's another thing that the community will lose, because there's a lot of revenue that would come into Dundalk for all these people just coming in for the fireworks. Are Are you aware uh, of uh, the Sky's the Limit Theater that uh, is at North Point Government Center? That is the last publicly owned community theater in all of Baltimore County. No, I, I didn't know anything about it. The, I just... the, uh, the disabled community uh, is also involved with the acting in things like West Side Story, The Wizard of Oz. People with, with real uh, cognitive disabilities are acti actually having this rare experience acting in these things. And that to me is very powerful. And they have the only um, summer camp for, for acting in theater in all of Baltimore County and they're getting rid of that too. So you got a diverse, you got all the sports, you have uh, a really unique theater experience, there's the, the uh, indoor, indoor wrestling and, and soccer. It, it, it's, it's, it's a really unique facility. Yeah, I, I didn't know that the, the acting in, in the indoor facility there, um, um, like I said, I haven't lived in the area in a while, but I mean, that, that, that should just compound the situation. That you're taking social activity away from the youngsters and uh, putting it up there for some, a little bit of development for, for retail and commercial space. Um, it's, I'm not sitting well with a lot of people, I know that.